Hello, welcome to this again. As of uploading this video, Windows 10 is officially dead. Actually, there's extended support, so technically it's on life support, so uh, for the purposes of this video, Windows 10 is dead. So I thought it'd be fun to go through a couple beta builds of Windows 10, going from when it was still basically just Windows 8, all the way up until its RTM release. And the earliest build of Windows 10 that we have available is build 9780. Now with most beta versions of Windows, they have a time bomb in it so that you can't use it past a certain date. So if you want to use them, you have to set the BIOS date to something before that time bomb. This one's 2014, and we'll do 0625. All right, and I have a USB stick with the build here. Also, can I just say having a mouse cursor in this era of BIOS? Strange. I would like to save changes and exit, and I should be able to boot off the USB stick. Cool. It's not there. That's nice. Okay. Um, that is probably because, first off, secure boot needs to be off. Second, we're going to turn on CSM and make sure secure boot is still off. Okay. Okay, there it is. Up. Oh, okay. God damn it. This is the uh, network boot thing, and that means it failed to boot off the USB stick, which is nice, which is re real, real fun. I don't want to be in here. Off to a great start. I can't even boot off the USB stick. Okay, let me try a different USB stick. Maybe that'll work. All right, I have a different USB stick now that I also formatted differently. So I'm hoping that this one actually boots. Hell yeah. All right. All right, so as you can see, it's still being labeled as Windows 8. I haven't even updated the copyright. There's also a big old Microsoft confidential thing down here. Yep, install it. So this is basically just gonna be Windows 8. All right, and now we wait. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully, to install. All right, we're restarting. I need to make sure it doesn't boot off the USB stick. Do it off the SSD, please. Does it, did, does it usually fade in like that? <laughs> oh, we're in widescreen now, nice. Oh, shoot. Damn it, it's gonna try booting off the USB stick. Damn it. Ugh, you gotta tell me when you're rebooting. All right, damn, that installed really fast. I mean, it was just a USB stick and an SSD, so I mean, yeah, sure, let's use Express settings. All right, I, I don't want to get new apps from the App Store. All right, so that took uh, five minutes. That that took five less than five minutes to install. Uh, now, I don't know enough about Windows 8 to know if this start menu looks any different. It sure looks scuffed, to be honest. I never liked how, like, Windows 8 did, like, a mixed arrow slash metro thing. That desktop icon, I've never seen that before. Was that a thing in Windows 8? That, that fade-in animation whenever you open a thing? Oh boy, what's in games? Oh my god, it's an Xbox 360. That's... <laughs> uh, it's not finding anything, but... Uh, yeah, that's just the Xbox 360 dashboard. All right, can I get out of here, please? I should probably plug in my Wi-Fi thing. Oh, sound's working, apparently. Uh, but, uh, no networks, which I don't really need anyway, so. So basically, there's only hypothetical games in this operating system. This is apparently when they added the home folder to File Explorer, though. All right, I don't want to dwell on this version for too long, so, uh, on to the next one. All right, this one is build 9900, and thanks. Clearly, it didn't shut down. <laughs> Either that, there's no way it just booted that fast. There's no way that wasn't in like sleep mode or something. <laughs> Let me boot off the USB, damn it. Cool. So they've removed the Windows 8 branding. Now it just says Windows. And I think it's a deeper shade of purple now. I might be wrong. And they've also updated the copyright text. I'm just gonna delete these two partitions. All right, let's see how long this one takes. All right, we're rebooting. Oh god, it's white. Well, first off, it, uh, detected my Wi-Fi adapter. Second, why is it so bright? It still has purple. Ah, okay, alright, yeah, it couldn't even connect anyway. You know what, we're gonna use Customize this time, because, man, is this different. Man, Microsoft actually cared about privacy at one point, sent a do not track request to websites, and then they automatically turned off the telemetry data. Oh, okay, yeah, no, there's still a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> Finalizing your- and there it goes. I'm assuming this part hasn't changed, other than maybe the store part. Never mind, you can still get new apps from the store. All right. All right, so as you can see, this is when, you know, the Windows 10 UI started to get put together. It's still got the old recycle bin, though. And man, that... And man, that file explorer icon, it... I don't, I don't know why, that does not look that good. Oh, it's got a different fade-in animation now. The desktop icon looks even more different. There's some changed icons over here, but there's still, you know, a bunch of arrow ones. It's still got, like, you know, the centered names from Windows 8, and the start menu looks the same. Okay, what the hell is the Windows Journal? The Journal Note Writer Print Driver? Sure. Okay. Cool. Does games work? No. 
No, it does not. And so yeah, now they're properly calling it Windows 10, except I think the, uh, I think this logo is a bit brighter than it usually is. Let's see, can I? Oh, hell yeah. Can't do this in Windows 11. Why is there a dedicated frown button? It's a report website problems button. Okay. Also, apparently there's tablet mode in this. So if I do uh, shift windows that key. Yeah, I would like to switch to tablet mode. Okay, that is interesting. So you can't have windowed windows. You can just have them in sections, except for sticky notes. You can still have sticky notes everywhere. And you can't like put anything in the corner if you have more than two apps open. It's always only two. You can only have two. Oh wait, there's two search bars. Okay. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Is this just Cortana, but worse? Yes. This is a uh, certainly a settings window. It's got two title bars. Some settings are managed by your system administrator. Some Windows features are only available using a Microsoft account. Man, they've been pushing this for a long time. Do we have any other wallpapers? No. Okay. We have these. That's Oh yeah, let's see the let's see the lock screen. It's just the Windows 8 lock screen. Okay. Why is there a battery indicator? Okay. All right, on to the next one. All right, this next build is 10005, which I honestly don't expect to be too different from the one that we just looked at, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so far the setup looks the same. I kind of wish the Windows 10 builds had the had the special wallpapers that said like, you know, hey, don't leak the shit. I guess clearly that didn't work, so they just, you know, gave up. Oh jeez, it's bright again. Can I at least connect to the internet this time? No, okay. I have a feeling this is gonna look the exact same as last time. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's the same. The store's even still here. And we're in, oh, it's purple now, that's fun. So they've definitely updated some of the UI, like the file explorer icon is, I'm pretty sure, still not the, uh, the final one, but it, oh, those icons. I mean, the title bar looks a lot more, you know, Windows 10-like. It just looks, Odd. Does the store- yeah, no. Oh, the start menu's different. How does this look more like Windows 8 than the Windows 8 one? It definitely looks closer to the Windows 10 one, though. Can we games yet? No. Oh, there's the Xbox app now. Great. Sure. It, there's just a sign-in button. That's it. And it's not even gonna be able to sign in because, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi isn't working. What about the music app? Who are you? Xbox music? Hello, dead mouse. Since when was there an Xbox music? I would really want to try that, but you know, I'm not online. Can it like at least play, you know, local files? Yeah, yeah, it can. It's just the, you know, the speakers on this thing aren't that great. Food and drink. Why, why is there a food and drink? MSN food and drink. It's got like a half broken UI and it's offline, so it can't do anything. Yeah, there's both store and store beta. Windows Media Player's still here, hell yeah. Yep, Cortana's still here. Okay. Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, no, I'm good. Just get me to Winver, please. Yeah, that's Winver. What does the settings look like? The settings look the same. Oh, and the recycle bin's still like this. Windows Technical Preview. Whoa, we got new wallpapers. They might have been in the other ones, they just are in here instead. Flowers. Wow. Oh, it's pink now. Alright, high contrast. Hell yeah. Oh god, that's worse. That's... that is... The start menu just doesn't work anymore. Oh no, it does. They, they, you know, they made it so that this works with the high contrast. Okay, all right. Next build, next build. All right, this next build is 10130, and it is the last build I have before Windows 10 fully released. All right, so the setup looks the same again, except now instead of, you know, all the confidential stuff, it just says evaluation copy. Custom, delete these, and we're off. Oh, it's blue now. You can also connect by pushing the button on your router. What? No, you can't. Is that a thing you can do? Oh, hey, I was actually able to connect to the internet. I want to customize settings. No, 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 no. So it's been on just a moment for a little longer than a moment. I'm just going to like force shut it down and then just turn it back on. Oh, a component of the operating system has expired. There's a chance that it, um, me connecting to the internet, you know, updated the date in the BIOS, which made the time bomb go off. That's exactly what it did, all right. 
Let's see if it boots now. Hey, what? Just, just like skip. Why is it white again? It's, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I think there's something seriously messed up with this installation, but hey, we're in. This is the insider preview and the licensing UI can't load. A required certificate is not within its validity period when verifying against the current system clock or timestamp in the signed file. That means it's because it fucking messed with my time and date again. I'm removing your internet privileges. You're breaking everything. I can't even adjust the date and time. Is everything just broken because I, you know, it's not, it's downloading the alarm and clock? What the f well, um, this definitely looks a lot, you know, more like the Windows 10 start menu that I know, or at least RTM Windows 10 start menu. The calculator just doesn't work. Nothing works because the time and date is set correctly. The file explorer icon finally figured itself out, I think. And also the icons, you know, look correct now. What is Project Spartan? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reboot this. Uh, let me fix the BIOS date again. Oh, that certainly isn't the Windows 10 thing. Oh, they are up. Oh. Install a new version of Windows now. This build of Windows has expired, so your PC will restart every few hours and eventually will fail to start. Okay. Hey, they updated the recycle bin finally. Can I at least open things now? I can. Does Project Spartan work now? It's just Microsoft Edge. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Cortana is a bit more finalized. I'm in. Okay. All right. Oh, it's just asking me to enable everything that I disabled. Oh, the settings is a bit, you know, more Windows 10-like. Do we have that one solitaire thing yet? Yes, we do! Oh god, the game bar's here now? Oh, it is here. News from Microsoft solitaire collection. Need internet connection. Okay, you can finally do something. Never mind, there's nothing here. <laughs> other than regular solitaire. Oh man, they got transparency now, that's fun. I, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how to play solitaire, so uh... Oh man, and we got the proper, like, notification center. Does tablet mode- oh, whoa! Tablet mode is, um, not working properly, because, uh, I can't get to, like, half my stuff, but it is- it is tablet mode. If I, like, open something, I- I don't want to be an Xbox. Okay, now I can see my stuff. This calculator just open. <laughs> So yeah, that's a, that's a thing now. Can I turn it off, please? Thank you. All right, now let's head over to the first official full release of Windows 10 that was released over 10 years ago. <laughs> yep, the setup looks the same, except, you know, there's no build number down here anymore because, you know, this is an official public release. All right, I forgot that um, RTM Windows 10 setup, you know, was different than the one that we have today. Let's see, is it gonna ha is it gonna say anything about the store? I don't think it did last time. Yeah, no. All right, and as you can probably tell, the biggest difference is the wallpaper is finally here. Apparently, it's an evaluation copy. Okay. Oops. So yeah, this is the first full release of Windows 10. Calculator looks a little bit different. All the UI is mostly finalized. Edge is here. <sighs> Music looks the same. It's not Xbox music anymore, now it's just music. Phone companion. Huh? And it's gone. Nice one. Alright. Cortana's here still. Still doesn't, like, work at the moment. Settings looks the same. Oh yeah, we have all the- all the iconic wallpapers. Colors. Oh yeah, the lock screen should be proper now. Yeah. They made a darker version of this for the lock screen? That's cool. So yeah, that's about it. And 10 years later, Microsoft is forcing everybody to use Windows 11, which, uh, I mean, it makes sense. The operating system is 10 years old. But also, I really don't like a lot of the things that they're doing in Windows 11. I'm still using Windows 11, because I don't really have a choice. So yeah, uh, rip, I guess. 